best angle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 I'm gonna pre. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but that's some nice music for this. Yeah, that door's locked. So, um, yeah, and he's not in the catacombs yet. I'm gonna uh, start adding background music to this game, because every game should have background music. I'd say that'd be untrue. Where do I have to go? Anyways, uh, Henry's not here yet. That's all right. So. so that's the wrong version. I'm trying to find the version of Bach's uh, Wacht auf Cantata, which is translates into English uh, "Sleepers Awake," which is sometimes Whoops. ironically used to refer to the rising of the dead in sort of games like this. Uh, but my phone sucks, and Google Play sucks, so I can't. Uh, I can't really get it. But I have a I have a version of it on my on my Bach album at home, so I'll probably just rip it from that CD and use that. You're going to like this area. It's just filled I, with zombies. I kind of do. I feel sort of at home. You can kind of farm them, but they only give you like 40 souls. Oh, uh, 22. That's that's not really worth. Because they just infinitely spawn. But they're only one. They're Okos. So. Yeah, yeah. Except that guy. I don't talk about him. Really? Why? What? Yeah, he kind of throws up maggots. That's disgusting. But they're pretty much harmless. They can bring harm to you, but it's not very common. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. So yeah, welcome back to the quest line that we didn't screw up. And him. I don't talk about him ever. Well, that's that's too bad. I'm not really like... going to be fighting anything except for the major enemies that'll kind of follow me around, like this woman up here. Oh, she's cute. <sighs> Wrong one. God. She can hurt those, I think. Oh, she's really cute. Nah, I'd say not. You wouldn't hit that? No. Oh, okay. Oh, do your thing! Do your thing! That's actually not gonna. I, I completely lied. What thing? The thing you were doing last episode! The... Oh. <laughs> yeah. The... Oh, that's his. <laughs> there. Oh, you gotta change the angle a little bit. Oh, that's beautiful, dude. I, I did it in that angle because you can't really go up close to them. No, like, change the angle where you're, the camera's over there. More like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. And now you know for sure that we are teenage boys. Oh. Hey there. You are a dude. Oh, he looks really harmless. Pretty much. Ouch. That guy just wasted that? it. Killed him. Allahu Akbar! Wow. <laughs> he, he, is, he is the definition of Allahu Akbar. Wow, that's... Wow. Friggin' radical Islamic zombie. <laughs> R.I.Z. He's a Riz. See, look. Allahu Akbar! <laughs> They even explode. That guy killed himself. That's awesome. You got you gotta add in the Oahu Akbar so <laughs> I will most certainly. That guy's freaking Spider-Man. Yeah, pretty much. That was cool. Thralls. Ooh, I hate these. Gross. They do spider crawl around. Ooh, is that is that a double? Yeah. Double kill! I hated this area at first because of the crossbow guys, but you once you go through it once, you know how to go through it again. Yeah. But there are three of them here. That's what screwed me over my first time. 
Oh, I see. I see. I see why that's a why that's an issue. I, well, I see why that's an issue. Ooh, Don't hold your shield up. Yeah, man, you should you should apply what I've learned in Smash to this game. Don't forget hold your shield up very too much. much. So, if you hold your shield up too much, you'll get guard broken and then reposted. Or not a, uh, or just grabbed. Yeah. But that doesn't really apply much in this game, whereas it's... Yeah, it actually does apply, because you know does that, the, the werewolf guy, how he would grab me, but I would still have my shield up. Oh, oh yeah, that was too bad. Are these guys like... Oh, oh you that's get who... out of there, get out of there. I forgot there. who they were worshiping. Get the frig out of there. Yeah, I, for good reason. Because hey. she is hey. no hey. friggin' hey. joke. I'd say it's a good time to. You know what that reminded me of? It's like it was like a four-on-one situation, and you killed the first two really quickly. That oh no, I'm in, uh, in Star Wars, did you? Oh wait. Oh, you haven't seen those, have you? No, I don't watch Star Wars. Damn it! Oh, you suck. You go. We are. Yeah, but that's beside the point. Um, we are totally playing all of LEGO Star Wars sometimes. Oh, well, yeah, but they're DS titles. I don't know no, how they're gonna do that. No, they're not. Well, one of them is. That's it the one I played. doesn't matter, dude. I have LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga for Wii, huh. 1 through 6. It's all the games, or all the movies, and I can just kind of explain the story as we're going along, the parts that aren't filled in by the, by the stuff. By the um, by the Lego cutscenes. I really did like the DS one. That which, was pretty good. What what was that one for? DS. <laughs> no shit. Oh, what <laughs> part of the story was it? I think four. Okay. Oh, like DS Lite? Yeah. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Oh, I'm out of coke. Yeah, same. I need to go get a new supply. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta hit up a new dealer. Oh yeah, I don't know if I finished what I was saying about Frosty the Snowman, but yeah, Frosty the Snowman is a song about a, a crack dealer in uh, Chicago, and they would they would sing that song, um, and then whenever someone would hear that song being sung, that's their cue to know that they're safe to deal crack there. Really? Yeah, Frosty the Snowman. Huh. Frosty being the dealer, and Snowman being his title because you know they yeah, call yeah. it snow, so. Uh, that's not a completely valid fact. It's it's sort of it's sort of a spin-off-y joke that came around after the song. Um, I don't think it was a result of crack. I think crack jokes were a result of that song, but it's still funny. Yeah. So as far as freaking um, Star Wars, though, like there, Star Wars is an iconic a part of American culture now. Like, you can't just not watch Star Wars anymore. They kind of, I've heard they kind of digged it up. Uh, who said that? And what or were they the talking Disney. about? I've, I've heard people say that Disney. Dude, that doesn't matter. The, the original saga, one through six, that is its own freaking, that's its own banana, you know? That's like, that stands alone as the original Star Wars saga, e even as much as the original three movies stand alone as the original trilogy. Uh, and a lot of people are purists for the or original trilogy and don't even accept the the second trilogy, which I actually like better than the other trilogy. Sorry if you don't like that, but um, I just think that there were more improvements. Uh, the music was better. The Ooh, are you? You are super. Oh, you barely got away with that. Come on, come at me right now. Damn it. There were there were better actors. I hate Mark Hamill. He's a complete loser. Uh, I hate Ewan her. What? I hate her. Yeah, I know. Ewan McGregor is phenomenal. I love him. Uh, Hayden Hayden is it Hayden Christensen or Hayden Christensen? What? He's a fantastic actor. You. You got Islam, bro. I, I do not know how that second one hit me, but thank you for giving me another Estes flask. 
<laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's the thing in this game. Some enemies, when you kill them, I, I don't know what triggers it, any special event or if it's random, they just give you bonus S S Oh, flies. look out at that friggin' cliffscape. That is gorgeous. We just came from there, actually. I know, it's but the still. the high wall of Lothric. That's yeah. Lothric up there. I think. I think they should make a game sort of like this. Uh, like the size and beauty of this game, but for Magic the Gathering, like you know Ravnica. Mm -hmm. Ravnica is a kind of a big city like that. There's a very old game actually like this. Well, no, 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 not like this. But you use actual cards, not actual cards, but it's a card. A role playing game. Yeah, it's an RPG. But you use virtual cards and have virtual, you know, magic battles. And, but there's an actual map you go around. It's not like the ones today. Do you remember what it's called? No. I think it's just Magic the Gathering. Oh, okay. That's cool. Projair did a thing on it. It's really old. Oh, yeah. He, he's into Magic. I forgot about that. Yeah. Pro Gerard the Finishist. <laughs> I don't know if he's very good at Magic, though. Uh... You could probably find that out, honestly, by checking out his content and seeing what kind of stuff he does. I've seen him... He got the tour of the Wizards of the Coast. I like I've seen him play a match or two. Really? Yeah. He um, might be a scrub, but he might be good. I don't know. I don't know. You just gotta you just gotta check him out if you want to know. I think I, I think I can take him on my white deck. Uh. I think I think he he's not the um, he does I don't know if he plays standard or not, but <laughs> I don't. I, think I saw so, his, dude. I saw his blue deck and it wasn't best. Well, most blue decks are not viable, or else they're really good. But blue by itself is generally either really slow, really weak, or both. Like, if you have a blue, a mono blue milling deck, it's gonna be... It's gonna be good with milling, and it might be fast at it, but it's gonna be really weak on defense, mostly. Yeah, I know so. blue is a, a kind of a screw your stuff up deck or color. Uh, it's it's yeah. about blue is the main control color. It's about preventing what you don't want to happen. Kind of, yeah. It's all about the mind games. But I like blue as a complement to other colors, like blue and black, uh, blue and white. Those are my two favorite. I really like blue and red as well. I like white. Yeah, white white's an interesting color. Uh, white's probably my second favorite overall color in Magic. I had a pretty fantastic blue and white deck when I was a was a younger Planeswalker. Oh, is this it? Is this the thing? No, this is shortcut. Dude, you better get to the Abyss or the Deacons of the Deep, my man, because you gotta. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm just now. All it is is going tra backtracking and then. Heading to them. That's oh, okay. It. We might have to make a uh, one more uh, video here, bro. We might have to next time on Game Grumps it, or just boom, right to the boss fight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to do that? You know, guys, I'll fill you in. I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen from here all the way to the boss fight. There's going to be this giant, and he's going to wreck my shit at least once, <laughs> and then I'm going to run over there go through those doors and then fight the boss. That's what's going to happen. Alright, see you later. Alright, 20 minutes later. It was in fact not 5 minutes. Let's do this. I'm going to run past all these guys because I do not feel like fighting them. Summon sign, summon sign. Anri, yes, need to summon her. Summon Horus. So you're summoning phantoms of those guys? No, I'm summoning them. Because they're... They... Um, the, the way the lore goes, we're actually fighting the boss with them. But me gameplay mechanic-wise, they have to be phantoms. Lame... That is ridiculously lame. It's just... 
You know, they gotta put the game above the actual game above the story since it is in fact a game. I still think the story is more important. I mean, if they didn't have oh, a game, that is it'd, creepy. it'd just kind of be a movie. You just have to wait and see where that ball no, goes. No, but it's like, it's it's a story that you are controlling. Yeah, but I'm saying from a gameplay standpoint, to make it still fun, or to, have, to make it fit the standards, it has to be phantoms. Those guys look kind of... kind of lame. Is that... Yeah, I'm saying it's just the standard enemies, but... But with... A big health bar on one of them, and then, like... Not on one of them, they kind of... Damn it. They share the soul. No. Uh, well, kind of. That that little thing, it just goes around to one of them. Yeah, I know, the, the soul passes between, like, the individual yeah. things. So if you freaking kill one, it, it, it possesses a different... Dude, I know how this stuff works, man. I gotta do this quickly, because... Horus is... doing some serious swag. Oh, here's the actual deacon. Oh, yeah, he looks a lot cuter than the others. He's really small. No, that's just knockback. That's not damage. Uh... Now, okay. If, if they build that up all the way, I'm boned. Oh, it's, really? It's instant death, yeah. Wow. Get me out of here, please, please. I mean, that seems fair. Well, it takes a it takes a good while. I spent ten minutes in this boss yeah. fight the first time because I didn't know about the whole soul passing thing. Right. Dude, they just friggin' share a soul. There's, it's like they're just being friends. They're just hanging out, having a good time, just like we are. Soul sharing. Kind of different, but I it's. Come on, man. I was just screwing around. I would never share my soul with you. Same. I like how that's... I like how that's our conversation. <laughs> We're talking about... You already have this thing almost dead. Yeah. What kind of a boss is that? It's, it's, it is dead. It's a freaking... Okay, so was that a... Was that one of the big five, or was that... No. No, okay. It's big four, actually. Well, the, you have five Lords of the Cinder, but there are four big bosses. You got Bjorn, the Abyss Watchers... Why am I forgetting the other two? Aldrich and... 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 I think Lothric. I think he's the other one. Oh, really? King Lothric. I'm pretty sure there were, there were five. Uh, yeah, no, King Lothric is Prince Lothric. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was another one. Here, I'll give you this try. Yeah. So what else? You have the Abyss Watchers, you have Yorm. Oh, now that you defeated those guys, uh, Andrew's gonna be at the thing, right? Yeah, and then we talk to her. <sighs> yeah, so... Alright, sweet. Um, so... Next, next, next episode, uh, next time when we come back, um, we'll be hanging out with, with Andri, we'll be partying with her. I'm about to do some major leveling. With, oh, really? Yeah, with this, uh, 60,000 souls. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's just a couple. And yeah, pocket change. Pocket change, yeah, yeah actually, boy. For my Dark Souls 2 profile, that is pocket change. Yeah. And yeah, I'm gonna put these lords, this uh, at those cinders there, ashes. And then I'm gonna go talk to Henry, and then well, no, no, we're gonna just keep this for next episode. Yeah, I mean we're already at, like way over, because we had to fast forward a little bit. We had to do a skip a room. You should do an episode where we just glitch a bunch of stuff. That would be fun. Oops. <laughs> Horses, when you see him, he doesn't mind. I think he likes it. <laughs>